Hey guys, what's up Aquarius? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways, so this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with, so flip flop it how you need to. Also, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so take what's yours, leave the rest behind. This does resonate with you today. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys were to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. All right, Aquarius. Could be manifesting something, making something happen, but you're keeping it to yourself. Or just really worried around it and keeping that worry to yourself. All right, maybe a future for Aquarius. No. All right, the Two of Swords, the Moon, Pisces, Energy. One more for Aquarius. Looks like there's a lot of unknowns. Because just representation, I mean, just off the colors, blues are about things that are hidden. Truth and clarity that's needed. Because um, things have kind of came to a crossroads, or it could just be an indecision on someone's part. Um, things that you're not seeing, but then with the red here at the heat, uh, for the outcome, that's more of a get up and go um, energy. So uh, let's see, show me those two of swords for Aquarius. This is a stalemate situation, an indecision. Somebody wanting to move forward, wanting to take charge, but not sure how or not making the steps needed to do so. Make sure, yeah, see, the star, Aquarius energy. Make sure you're not cutting off um, your intuition because there is an opportunity coming or that's being offered. It could really come out of the blue and... and um, catch you off guard yeah see it's like you want to go for this but there's this nervousness there's this these these thoughts this worry this mindset this like it's, it's self-imprisonment of the thoughts right so it cuts off our intuition kind of makes us feel like we're at a blind spot like not really knowing what to do so there's an opportunity that's there for you or that you're offering um and it looks like somebody really does want to go for it but it could just be nervousness, anxiety that's kind of holding things back. Show me this moon for Aquarius. Again, this is Pisces energy. This is things that are hidden, right? Not yet revealed. What is this moon? The Six of Swords. So someone could be moving, could be traveling. You may not see this person or this opportunity coming towards you. Oh, wow. Okay. So there is an offer coming, but... <laughs> The way it's coming, yeah, see, there's an offer coming, but there's so much worry behind it. There could have been competition or some arguments, things like that, but um, somebody's in such a, a worry, worry state, anxiety, stress, that this offer is coming to meet up, to hang out to reconcile because somebody is manifesting something new, whether this is you or them. Um, because with the sun here, Leo energy, this is your complete happiness. Somebody is manifesting something. There's new opportunities all around it, but it's like, they're so worried about it. There's also spying going on. Um, it's almost like somebody wants this so bad. Wants, um, this offer to hang out, to date, to reconcile, to get drinks, wh whatever the case may be. And they have the power to manifest it or you. It's something that you're very passionate about. It could be something brand new because there are opportunities here. Um, but somebody is kind of just really wanting to come forward, romantic feeling, wanting to talk. Um, so they, they're, they're spying. They're trying to move forward with that Six of Swords. Um, like I said, that can be somebody like driving or traveling, but um, 
Yeah, see, it's like this Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person sees you as their emotional fulfillment. You could have rejected the offer. Or this person is just nervous that, you know, that, that you will. There's definitely romantic feelings here. There's definitely someone got bit by the love bug. Show me this Knight of Wands for Aries. I'm um, shit, Aquarius. Knight of Wands is Aries Leo Sag energy. It could be an age difference. Show me this Knight of Wands, please, for Aquarius. The Two of Cups. Told you there's love all over this. It's mutual. There is a bond here. Um, tell me more, please. Oh, wow. All right. So you could have been dealing with a player. I can't take all these Taurus, Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. But we had a Deceit card in there. And with that Knight of Wands, that can be a player. They're really, there's feelings here. Um, and the love is mutual. You could work with this person. The Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, again, this person is very attracted to you. Yeah, so it could be a childhood friend, something like that. The Six of Cups could have children with this person, or it could just be a deep friendship. Um, but this person, there's a lot of, there's love and there's sexual attraction here. Talking about this Queen of Cups. See the Five of Swords. So there, there could be a reason you don't trust it. Um... And like I said, you could work with this person or something like that with the um, the Eight of Pentacles here. It could be a childhood friend. But it's, I mean, a cancer energy. It's moving forward, trying to work on things, trying to grow. Um, so the opportunities, I mean, they're here. Five of Swords again. I'm not sure, I'm, you know... In some situations, just use your intuition because we have a Knight of Wands. Um, we do have someone's fine. There is love at the end of it, though. A lot of worry on someone's part. A lot of stress. All right, Aquarius. I hope this helps. I hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. So it looks like you are moving forward, putting in the work on them. Maybe work with this person, but trying to work on things, trying to move forward. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.